Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another home studio trainer show. And uh, the here is another the, the here <laughs> here is another question from the Facebook group. While my uh, mouth goes uh, away on its own, um, how to use the audio bend tool? Uh, this was a uh, question that was brought up as somebody was trying to adjust a very slight timing in a particular solo performance. Um, and in this case, I'm actually going to be using a drum loop. Uh, to actually show how to use the audio bend tool. Now, this isn't the audio bend full option. This is just the tool. I'll be doing a video on the full option and how to do all of the automatic stuff in another in another video. All right, if you guys could, I'd really appreciate it. If you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, enable the notifications, and if you really want to help support the channel, subscribe uh, to the channel, and for a couple bucks a month, you'll actually help me continue this endeavor. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so this is an awesome tool, especially if you are adjusting the timing of maybe even a whole existing song. You drag the whole song into uh, Studio One and you want to line it up with a click. This is another way that you can actually get that to happen. Uh, depending on how close it is to the click that you have in the song, you know, all of that stuff depends on each other. In order to actually use the Ben Marker tool to line up all of the peaks in your audio, or the transients as they're actually called, and to be able to move those around to line those up. So I'm going to show you how I do that here. So now here in the classroom, you guys can see I have this audio file here. Let me actually turn on my cameras. There we go. Yeah, how are you guys doing? All right, so here's the beat. It's just a loop from the library. There we go. Let me turn that down just a little bit. Perfect. All right. So now in order to actually use the bend tool, there's one thing you have to engage before you do that so you can see it. So if you click on the waveform that you have here, you go ahead here into the inspector and you go to the bottom or close to the bottom and you see that there is a, let me actually zoom in so that you guys can see it. There we go. There is a bend marker checkbox right there. And what you want to do is you want to tick that box. And I'm actually going to undo it to show you what it looks like when you do it. So here is the event. You tick the little box. Boom. There you go. You've got that inverted. Now, this is so that you can see the bend markers. So if we go here to the bend marker tool, which is right here, it is tool number seven. I believe it's number seven on your keyboard if you have a Studio One keyboard. You can click on that and you can see it becomes this little pencil with uh, with a little, it looks like a, a golf club. <laughs> I don't know if that actually has a name, but that's what we're going to call it. All right, so now if you place a bend marker, we're just going to go ahead and bend, uh, bend it. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and place it right here on this peak right here or this transient or this beat in this case. And once you actually do that, da, 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 I don't know why I'm getting the little wheel there. It usually doesn't happen. There you go. Uh, there we go. So you can see this yellow line here. Really see it? There we go. You've got this yellow line. Now this line can be moved back and forth through your uh, event so that you can change the timing of everything. So let me zoom out. So now you have to be careful how you do this because if you move it this way or you move it that way, you're actually moving everything. And sometimes you don't want to do that. So when it gets green, that means it's getting faster. As it gets red, that means it's getting slower. Just like that. So now if I move this up here, here's what it sounds like now. And the time stretch algorithm in Studio One is so awesome, you you can barely tell that uh, things are being moved around. Now, in this case, since we're only listening to the raw drum track, it's a little more evident. But when you have it in a mix, it's even more invisible. All right, so let's say, let's move this to the center here, and there we go. So let's say you only want to move a particular portion. So, like, if I have this here, you can see where the beat starts over. And there, right there. 
you can see the center. Well, actually, the whole thing's repetitive, but it actually is in the middle here. So let's say in this part here and here, I, let's say I want this to move over just enough to speed this little portion up here. Well, obviously, if I do this, the whole song's going to move. So I don't know if this actually has a specific name, but I create something called a zone. So let me undo that Ben marker. So if I want to take this, there we go. If I want to take this portion and just speed it up within here, I want to put a Ben marker on the outside of where I want it to continue normal. And I want to put a Ben marker at the beginning of the point that I want it to change. So you can see now, if I if I put a bend marker now in the center, this is the zone that I want. If I put a bend marker in the center, only the information within that zone moves. Nothing out here is affected. Nothing here is affected. It's like that. So if I want this to be a little bit faster here, but I want this portion to kind of go back to normal, can do it this way and as I go just like this here we go now this play uh, this spot is sped up this spot is sped up and this spot is slowed down so let's actually see what this sounds like it's gonna sound terrible but you guys will get the, the idea one more time You can see that as you go up plus or minus like 10% of what the original sound is, you're going to start really hearing some anomalies. But stuff like this works really good on vocals to subtly and slowly change the timing on a couple of words. Somebody does this killer vocal track, and in one part the singer just... Uh, said this word just a little bit too slow and a little bit too long or a little bit too long and you don't want the other areas to be affected, put your zone in and then put a uh, bend marker in the center and move it back and forth. Just like that. Really gives you a lot of control. You can even do this. Let me uh, go ahead and undo all this. So let's say there's just a little portion here. I'm going to stretch this up here. And I want to do this, to do this, and I want this part of the word to be a little bit shorter. So now, if I take this, now this part of the word is going to be a little bit slower, and this part is going to be a little bit quicker. I can even do more than that. I can actually put it back to normal. You see, they're both gray. And I can just put another little bend marker really, really close if I zoom in. Really, really close. And I can just go ahead and this guy over there. Go. Oh, beautiful. So now, if the word has a break and everything is right where I want it, if I want to get rid of this little spot here, it's actually quite simple. I can go ahead and go back to the bend marker. Turn the bend marker view off, and now it just looks like a regular waveform. Go back to my pointer, and I can go ahead and I can use my range tool to take this out. I just highlighted that with the range tool. I'm going to hit the delete key. Gone. So now what I can do is I can now take this right here and I can put just a little bit of a fade so it doesn't sound so it doesn't sound so oh hold on let me get back to my pointer there we go I can take this little bit of the fade here and this little bit of the fade here and now the words are going to cut off and sound natural as we go now this is a drum beat but I wanted to use a vo I wanted to use the vocal idea as an example uh, so that you could like tail words off and actually get them to slow down <laughs> For drums, that sounds terrible, but you guys get the general idea. You can really manipulate um, the timing of a singer. And I've had so many singers in here that nail the vocal as far as the quality and the notes, but sometimes they're a little bit late or a little bit early, or they want to change the expression 
of their vocal. For drummers, this is great. If they have a particular late hit, you can really adjust it, whether it is an individual track where you have multiple tracks of drums, or even especially if it's just a single stereo track for your drums, you want to adjust the timing of the snare, but if you do, but, but you can't do that because you can't break down all of the uh, separate parts within the drum track, and you can do all of this kind of editing like that. So let me go back here, control, I'm just using control Z to get kind of get back to normal here. There we go. And then, there we go. So now, when you actually use the bend marker option, this is the tool. So now, if you look right here, there it is. There's the audio bend. Now, this will be another video, but I just kind of wanted to give you a little um, uh, prequel <laughs> to this here. You have the ability for it to analyze all of your transients, and then it will automatically place the bend markers where you want them. This is really good for an entire song that you want to adjust the tempo to to actually fit the grid. If you have a song that was freestyle, you want it to fit the grid, you can use this tool but that will be for another video i've got to find a really good example for that that isn't a commercial song i do have a video on how to do this as far as for a commercial song it's over on my patreon page uh, it's uh, to the song by the box tops i show actually how to uh sync up that song to the click track and then i replace not replace but i put in a midi drum track on top of it sounds pretty cool so for those of you that are uh, over on patreon go ahead and look that up maybe i'll go ahead and bring it back up to the top so that you guys can see it other than that that is it so let me go back here there we go so the Audio Bend, either the tool or the full feature, is so crucial, especially if you're maybe syncing old tracks. Let's say you've brought some tracks in and you want to sync them up to the tempo. If you have a vocalist who sings perfectly, but sometimes uh, they're off time a little bit, you can adjust the words. Or even if you want to take, uh, take a vocal expression and completely change the the way that it's expressed <laughs> change the expression and be able to move around words and things like that and of course you know plus or minus 10 to 15 percent before you start noticing any anomalies of course the anomalies can be hidden a little bit more if it's in a mix with a little bit of effects it's not as obvious also melodyne is another tool that can do stuff like this but if you don't have melodyne or you've tried melodyne and it's not working for you you have the audio bend option so that's going to do it for me. I hope that you guys got something out of this and I will see you guys all in the next video.